Thank you very much, David. I have a lot of papers, so the conference starts now. Uh, we are very pleased that Secretary General Insulsa joins us. And uh, as I mentioned this morning, the commitment he expressed in the opening remarks, which you have received, hopefully by now, if not, certainly will receive, um, are very clear in terms of where the Organization of American States stands with regard to food security. Not only from the technical perspective, for that we have IGA and um, Dr. Charleston Brathwaite, but certainly from the political perspective to raise the profile of it. Brings me to the objectives of this conference, which are very much, very well outlined in this document. And I think if you read it, uh, David, uh, the objectives were met. If you read the uh, four objectives which were stated, I think we have indeed have a very fruitful, long discussion, lots of information on food security but certainly raise the profile of the importance of food security as something to be discussed continuously over the coming months and years. And in fact, what we hope is that the two flags which stand here, the cooperation, the partnership between the OAS and ICA will expand to include Pan American Health Organization, the Inter-American Development Bank, and all the other institutions which are useful in supporting this process. I think we have heard this morning so many statements um, with lots of ideas most of them focused on action. And I don't want to thank by name all the institutions, but certainly I want to recognize that this kind of cooperation among ourselves fosters the strong uh, institutional cooperation which is uh, emerging within the inter-American system between the IDB, PAHO, and the other multilateral international organizations. I want to thank uh, specifically Ambassador Johnson from uh, the permanent representative of Jamaica, uh, it's a, almost a logical uh, presence and a logical connection because the next step is the ministerial in Montego Bay. So your presence here is not only symbolic, but certainly substantive in preparation for that meeting. And uh, I believe that most, if not all, of the topics discussed here in some way will find its way to the ministerial for policy decisions to be made. And I think everybody looks forward to that. I wanted to say something very special about someone who we have come to respect and understand very much. And that is about somebody who is going to take, um, I won't say retire, but he will retire from his position. And that's Dr. Charleston Brathwaite. Um, over the past five years, and um, the, the relationship between the Organization of American States and ICA has grown really, as I said this morning, from strength to strength. And I think we have not seen a stronger relationship develop between inter-American institutions as the one between your office here in Washington and in Costa Rica. We both, the Secretary General myself, visited the headquarters several times. So I think this is an example for all the other institutions. But I wanted to commend Dr. Chelson Brathwaite, who has become not only a colleague, a friend, but also a trusted partner in this process for your dedication in the last eight years as head of ICA. I don't think you can be re-elected for a third term. Um, I'm sure you would have been. Uh, but your strategic vision in terms of agricultural development, the strategic visioning about uh, agricultural development and rural life development, the broadening of the concept, is something which I think fits the time in which we live. There is need to have that broader vision for the Americas. And I think this is what you have brought really to this, to your own institution, but certainly to the Organization of American States. So I wanted to thank you very much for that and um, wish you all the best. And please join me in an applause for <laughs> Dr. Jackson Bradford. The last observation is equally pleasant. Um, I believe we're going to close the session now, but the, quest, the, the request is that you do not leave. You just retire just 10 feet further down in the hall so that this room can be set up for two very interesting presentations as you have in your program, video presentation, uh, two messages, a special video message from President William uh, Jefferson Clinton 
and a documentary on food security and rural women, women farmer. And I would urge you to stay around, and I believe there is also a reception, so there is more reason to stay. I want to thank you all very much. We were very pleased and honored to host this conference, and I hope that we can continue this on our political agenda. Thank you very much. Wish you good afternoon.